Guys, I think I found the best, fastest, cheapest internet that you can possibly get in the rural USA. I have found a place that's dirt cheap to live in the rural USA. We live there and you can get gigabit internet, upload and download unlimited data for only about $80 a month. And it's amazing. So let me tell you about it. It is Como Connect and it services central Missouri. I don't work for Como Connect. I have a couple friends who work there and I'm just doing this vlog because I think it is an undiscovered gem and opportunity and reason to live here in central Missouri. So if you work from home, let's say you're a YouTuber like I am and you upload videos every day uh, and you're tired of you know having slow internet where you have to wait a long time to upload videos, you might wanna consider moving out here. It's super sweet. So let me tell you a bit about Como Connect. So Como Connect services central Missouri, basically this area of, I don't know, maybe a few thousand or a couple thousand square miles of central Missouri. You've got the city of California, Versailles, Stover, Tipton, um, a subdivision in Boonville, the city of Russellville. I think Eldon is also in their radar as far as where they're building out their network, their fiber optic cables. If you want to see an interactive map of all the places they offer, Como Connect Internet, you can go to join.como or co-mo.net, click at zones at the top, and there's this interactive map that highlights in green all the areas that you can get internet from Como Connect. You can enter in your address, hit enter, and you'll see if they offer the service at your address that you're thinking of buying or wherever you live. So they have a few different plans for residential. You have 100 megabits per second upload download speed at $50 a month. You've got 250 megabits per second upload download at $60 a month. That's the one that I'm doing currently. And they've got one gigabit, 1000 megabits per second upload download at $80 a month. For those of you who don't know, a megabit is one eighth of a megabyte. So if you've got eight megabits per second, then that equates, I believe, to one megabyte per second download or upload. Anyway, it, it makes browsing the internet super nice. Uh, it also makes uploading super quick. In fact, this video I'm recording right now on this iPhone, let's say it ends up being, you know, 300 megabytes. That file I'll be able to upload to WeTransfer and email it to me and download it to my computer quite quickly, just in a matter of, you know, maybe a minute or two. Also, one thing that's nice about having fast internet when you're in rural USA, some people don't realize, but when you get farther away from your router, your internet speeds decrease. So if you have 250 megabits per second right by the connection and the main router, if you come you know, 10 feet away, you might be at 200 megabits per second. And if you go 30 feet away, you might be at 100 megabits per second. If you go 50 feet away, you might be at five megabits per second. So that's another reason why I think it's really important to get fast internet, especially if you work from home, uh, especially if you do uh, anything YouTube. It's not too uncommon to have places in the rural USA that have like decent fiber networks where you can download at a pretty good speed, but usually the upload speeds are pretty terrible. Like you might get hundred megabits down, but only like five megabits up, um, which isn't that great. Also, I scoured uh, cheap places to live in the United States looking for both the cheapest place to live with gigabit internet. And so I looked at, you know, towns where Google Fiber was. So Kansas City was one of the areas that I looked at in that area. One thing I noticed while doing those searches is that Como Connect had amazing reviews. If you go online and search for reviews about Como Connect, I think they had like a 4.5 out of five stars or like pretty close to a five star. People like Comcast, AT&T, Xfinity, things like that, they were often like in the two and a half star, three star, three and a half star range. And they had some pretty terrible reviews about customer service. My experience has been very positive. I haven't had any ne negative experiences with Como Connect and I haven't read negative reviews about them. Now you might ask why in the world with this small little farming community in central Missouri have gigabit internet? That's a good question. I don't know the full history, but from what I've heard, it sounds like there was some very forward thinking person that when they were laying down their electrical, um, cause Como Electric offers 
electricity to a lot of residents here in central Missouri. That's what Como stands for. It's like central Missouri. Anywhere where Como Electric services, I think they also offer their gigabit internet. So I think when they were laying down their electrical lines, they also decided to lay down fiber optic cables to allow you to have gigabit connectivity. Um, so it's it's a huge blessing. I, you know, it's cheap to live out here. There's wonderful places to buy and you, there aren't many people living out here and the internet is amazing. If you're getting business internet with Como Connect, it costs a bit more. If you get the gigabit upload download for a business site, you might be looking at like $500 a month or something like that. That's kind of kind of pricey, but if you're doing, you know, like 100 megabits per second or up, you know, it's quite reasonable. Well, those are just a few reasons why I think that the best internet in rural USA is here in central Missouri. And I think Como Connect deserves a little applause. They made my life better and they have made a lot of lives better. It's incredible. I think more, more towns need to be forward thinking, thinking to the future, fiber optic cables, gigabit connectivity, unlimited data plans, not throttling your customers, not throwing on crazy fees. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.